What's up pirates? It's Jim with Awaken TCG accompanied by Wraith and today we are going to go over the new Yamato leader that got revealed for OPO6 and just the implications this card has for the future of the One Piece card game. So first of all, let's just go over this card, go over its effect, its colors, all that jazz and see and show you why we are kind of concerned. But this is going to be your standard um, 4, 000, or 4 life, 5,000 power leader. And this is going to be green and yellow. Perfect for the Wano Country archetype. People will run an Arlong, but now you can run this. And the effect is going to be double attack. This leader just has double attack. Uh, no if, ands, or buts. They just slap double attack on the leader, called it a day. And you know, that would be like good already, but then. Uh, it has a secondary effect. Activate main once per turn. If your opponent has three or less life, which obviously if you hit them once with this leader, they're going to be at. Uh, you can attach two rest of dawn to one of your characters. So this is just red Luffy effect on steroids on top of the double attack effect. Yeah, I think this card, looking at it, you can kind of just see that there's like way too much power given to it. I feel like if they were to get rid of that secondary effect, maybe just double attack, I think it would be more fair. Uh, in terms of like the current power level we have of, you know, the current leaders, it's nothing like this. I feel like this is just uh, pretty strong and to the extremes, in my opinion. And in the background now, we have a video from a common Japanese YouTuber that I watch a lot. I will have the description to this video linked in the background, but they already tested out this leader against Rebecca, and it is very powerful. As you can see, they just attached three Dawn on their three Dawn turn, swinging eight. And if you don't have two 2Ks, that is gonna just, you're just going to have to take it at that point. Like, this is the thing a double attack leader can do. But let's get into what we really want to talk about. Uh, this leader is kind of one of the first leaders that makes me concerned for the future of this game. Um, leaders like this are just going to be insanely powerful, and so much so that there's going to be no reason to play the older leaders if the new ones are just that much better. 100%. I feel like, uh, you know, one of the reasons we're concerned is if you see this video, the uh, the Yamato player is playing with existing cards, so there's no new support, and it's already doing so well. Like, the Rebecca could not keep up at all. And so, like, we want to talk about, uh, this is the first OPO6 leader that's been um, leaked and revealed. Uh, so, uh, you know, if the trend continues here, we might have to, you know, see OPO5 and below leaders start phasing out. Maybe not OPO5, because OPO5 has some pretty stronger leaders than the rest of the cast but like from opo1 to opo4 i feel like the leaders are like you know very very vanilla very like one effect okay that's it yeah exactly like literally like i was saying earlier compare this yamato to red luffy okay red red luffy effect is like sure you can do it from the start of the game attaching a rest of dawn and you can also attach it to your leader yamato this yamato leader is only characters but at the end of the day like you don't super care about it like in the earlier turns like your opponent's gonna go down to three life really quickly especially if they're a four life leader like law or something like that so then this leader just becomes like it basically instantly um a better luffy not to mention it just has double attack slapped on <laughs> uh th cards like this like if they keep printing like if the other five leaders of opo6 are anywhere near this card's power level it it's gonna be pretty concerning uh you know don't get me wrong like power creep is necessary in card games you want people to be excited about the new cards and you want people to play the new cards trust me nobody wants a six set of white beard uh that is for sure and to do that you need to ensure that these new leaders are good but i feel like this is just a massive leap from last set yeah 100 percent uh you know cards like this is what you know most card games eventually get to they always get to a point like this because you can't just keep making more base vanilla cards and keep the game you know bare bones eventually you know their combos get greater the the strengths on cards get greater and so eventually you know stuff like this does happen but like you said like the leap from last set to you know a leader like this is pretty insane uh yeah 100 percent. and uh don't get me wrong uh Cards like Bello Betty, when we saw Bello Betty, we honestly thought she was going to be busted. Uh, 
giving three characters plus 3,000 power on paper sounds insane. Uh, it, it was free plus 9k. It seemed busted, but now you look at the Japanese meta and Bella Betty is actually not performing as well as anyone thought she would. Uh, it's basically just purple Luffy and NL and uh, Sakazuki and a couple other decks sprinkled in, but Bella Betty is like good, but it's not one of the top contenders, which is weird. And that's where I kind of want to go with this is that we could be completely wrong about this Yamato leader. Double attack is amazing and I think it's insane to slap down a leader, but I, I wouldn't even be surprised if it wasn't like that game breaking as we think it is. Obviously we do think it's game breaking, but at the end of the day, getting hit by double attack, you get two cards to hand. So it's basically a draw too. Yeah, yeah. You know, you could think of it in that perspective, or you could also think about it in the perspective of which uh, when you're versing a deck like Law, the Law tends to take the first two hits relatively free just to be able to have more cards to play with. And so for your your first two turns, they're going to swing and, and they, they want to take the hit. But if they're versing something like this Yamato, if they take the first two swings relatively easily to try to get more cards, now they're down to zero life and they're probably in a position uh, that's going to lose them the game within a turn or two. Or on the other hand, they have to block out. And if you're swinging something crazy, like on your first turn going 8,000 and then the next turn going 10,000, they're going to be down to two, three cards on their turns and not have enough resources to shambles. So I feel like uh, you can look at it from a perspective of this character really only needs to hit law three times and then you win versus, oh, let me hit him five times. So I think the... Uh, I think the double attack here is just uh it is just a big threat. So uh like like you were saying, maybe we are wrong, but from the looks of it, it looks like we aren't going to be wrong and uh the power of our new leaders are gonna be pretty crazy, and so we're gonna be seeing uh you know OPO six leaders along with Anel, uh purple Luffy and, and you know leaders of great power like that just, just start to shine and take over the meta. Yeah, exactly. Common scenarios like that law matchup, like this leader just seems completely overpowered in. So yeah, if the leader is not top tier, I would be surprised. We will 100% see. And so like, if we have, uh, you know, what I don't want to happen is, okay, we're, we're looking at this leader and we're saying, oh, this leader is so overpowered and it's great. But green, yellow aren't the best, like together, those aren't the best color combos. So we could see this being a weaker deck, but just being carried by the leader. But if the leaders in OPO6 are just as strong, I don't want them to be stronger and then have green be the weaker, you know, the weaker color. Because currently right now uh, in OPO4 for us, green is pretty weak. Um, I think the strongest green deck is uh, red, green law. But like if we're talking mono leaders, we don't really have any mono green leaders. Uh, green is always lackluster. I feel like the support in green hasn't been there recently. And, you know, the new green cards are or you know they're not they're not backing up the current leaders and so you know maybe we'll start seeing some leaders that can carry the weaker uh, colors all right pirates thank you guys so much for sticking to the end of this video i really hope you guys understand you know kind of what we're talking about here and and how this power creep could start for op and you know hopefully they do it the right way and not too fast maybe you know just start building up the strength on the cards you know slowly but surely which they have been doing good so far so hopefully we don't you know increase the power levels to a greater extent and you know make make too big of a jump uh, but regardless we want to thank you guys for watching and supporting us in all of our videos make sure to like this video comment down below your thoughts on this new leader and what you think of opo6 and and how it might turn out and make sure to subscribe to our channel you guys have a good day we'll see you guys on the next video peace